Yo guys, it's Morgs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make an epic intro for completely free with Blender. Now this does work on a Mac or a PC. For this tutorial, I will be showing you on a Mac, but it does work pretty much the exact same with a PC, with just a few things that are different, but I will cover those in the video. So if you're on a PC, this will work for you, and if you're on a Mac, this will work for you as well. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to blender.org. As you can see, this is where I am here. If you go up to download and just click it, you will see all the different download options. Obviously, because I'm on a Mac, I download this one, but if you're on a PC, just download this one up here. Um, it's really simple. I already have it installed. So I'm going to go straight to it, but after you've downloaded it, you will have this little application here So what you're going to want to do is just open it So as you can see, we've just opened Blender and this is where you can make an intro However, for this video, we will be using a template which you can find on the internet Because I actually don't know how to make intros But if you keep going at it, you can learn But just for this tutorial, we will be using a template So pretty much, just go to YouTube and type in a Blender intro template I've found one here which looks quite nice it's it's number 9 on this top 20 so what we're going to do is click the download button obviously in every video if you go into the description it shows the number of the intro and the download so you can just find one that you like but we are going to be using one for this tutorial so as you can see we're just going to download it here so as you can see here to the left we have the intro template if it's dot blend that means it's ready to open straight away but sometimes you will get a folder or a dot zip file if you have got one of them just extract it so you can get what's inside and there's going to be a dot blend file in there so just open the dot blend file by double clicking it and it should come up straight away in blender if you've got it open or even if you don't have it open so here we are in blender with the intro template open pretty much this is the bit that a lot of people struggle on because you can figure out how to get the actual templates open and download them but it's actually editing the text to say what you want which is often a problem for a lot of people so that's what I'm going to show you how to do so pretty much to start you're going to want to hover your mouse cursor over the text and see Simply right click, this will select the text, then you are going to want to go to your keyboard and click tab, which will make a line appear here, this pretty much makes it so that you can edit the text, so if I just go backspace four times, then type in morgues like that, there we go, we have the first layer of text done, obviously in this one there is multiple layers as you can see, so what you're going to want to do is just right click again, it will select the other one, and then just again like you did before, click tab, backspace and type in what you want like that. So there we go, that is the first part of how you actually edit the text. Now there's some settings that you have to change in order for this to work, which I will show you now. Now if you look to the right here, the four things I've opened up are render, dimensions, output, and encoding. And if you look here, we have a scroll up menu. Since I am on a Mac, I'm gonna make this a quick time movie, but if you're on a PC, you can make it what you want. Obviously, just look into what your files are and you can make it what you want. I'm pretty sure quick time works, but since I am on a Mac, I'm gonna do quick time and the next thing you're gonna to want to do is go on to no audio and move it up to AAC Pretty much if you leave it on no audio just like it says there will be no audio Which is obviously not what you want since this intro does have sound with it and most of them do well I I've never seen an intro with no sound with it and the next thing you're gonna to want to do is just get the quality and move it up to 100% This is optional, but I always like to do this just to make the audio a bit nicer now The final thing to do in this output section is just decide where you want it to export to so I've just clicked desktop and I'm gonna go up here to accept that is all you need to do so now it'll go straight to my desktop after it's finished rendering that's it for the output section so you can just close it off or just leave it it's up to you um, that's actually it guys so what you're gonna want to do now is go up here you'll see audio animation and render make sure you click animation because that is the one you need to do so as you can see now it is rendering I simply just clicked animation now all you really want to do here is just leave it it may take a while but you will be getting a quality intro so what I'm gonna do now is wait and then when it's done I'll show you how it looks so as you can see guys here we have the finished intro now I actually renamed it and put it into one of my files but what I am gonna do is play it for you guys now <laughs> So 
So guys, I hope you have enjoyed that tutorial of how to make yourself a really cool intro. I'm actually planning on bringing out quite a few tutorials on how you can make your channel better by using intros, editing software and different things like that. If you would like a video showing you how I edit my videos and the software I use, then leave a comment below. If you have enjoyed, then please smash a like. If you are new, then please subscribe. I do videos every single day. But, as always, I've been Morgs. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.